been a long day at work. Just got back. And uh, so, excuse my appearance, I just threw this shirt on. Didn't want to keep the old sweaty work shirt on. Um, so it's beer time. It's Friday night. Me and the first mate are ready. And this is, I've been looking at this beer for a while in my fridge. It's the last one that I got from Valentine's Day. <laughs> you remember I was doing reviews for the last couple of months of uh, all the beers that the wife got me. And uh, well, what we have left in there that I've been looking at all night, you know, well, not all night, but every time I open up the fridge, it's been in there. I just haven't had time to do a review on this. And it's by Travelers, the Travelers Beer Company. It has this neat little, uh, like, uh, English-looking chap, I guess, a little mustache there. And, uh, I don't know, it's expect Inspector Cuzo or something, you know, it has the little one, uh, one little eye thing. So instead of, like, an eyeglass, obviously it's a uh, grapefruit. Because that's what this is. It's Traveler's Grapefruit Shandy. And it says, a wheat ale brewed with lemon peel and with natural flavors, grapefruit and grapefruit juice added. So, I've never had a shandy. Um, and, nice looking bottle. Um, up here, it says some stuff up here. The Traveler's Grapefruit Shandy is a deceptively delicious wheat beer made with real grapefruit it delivers a bright and satisfying satisfying citrus hmm. aroma okay. Keep some citrus aroma and flavor then quickly disappears leaving you searching for another hmm. okay so they're talking up the big hype on the side here the american craft shandy huh okay if there's anything else, about oh, 4.4% alcohol, a little on the low side for the captain. I like my beers around five, but beggars can't be choosers, and obviously, this is something different. Uh, on the back, has a, a pig. And obscure facts notable feature of the Bahama Islands, Big Major K. It is ruled by swimming pigs. Food for thought, I guess. Hey. All right, so let's get cracking. Mm -hmm. Nice little hit. Wow. It smells like grapefruit, obviously. It smells like juice. Yeah, it smells uh, juicy and fruity, real like a thirst quencher. So let's give it a pour. Oh, wow. Ooh, I should have. And go easy on the head. I didn't think it was going to uh, pour that, that big of a head, especially being a commercial beer. Haziness. This is a wheat beer, so it is super hazy. I don't know if it's bottle conditioned or anything like that. Let's see. I don't think it is. I think it's just cloudy because it's a wheat beer. Nice color. You can see in this that, this horrible lighting I have. Sorry about that. Uh, nice golden color. Yeah, real juicy, juicy notes. So cheers, guys. Seventeen. Never had a shandy before. And I guess basically it's a beer that you add fruit juice to, or you do like a 50 50 mix, I guess. I think that's what I looked up on the internet. That was the Google explanation about it that you add like some sort of juice to the beer. But yeah, it's very, very filled with aroma. It's very thirst quenching. And for being 4.4%, you could pound this in about two seconds. To me, it's like, in my palate, it's like drinking like orange juice, like a juice, you know? Mmm. Mmm. It's very interesting. So, I, hey, cheers, guys. I suggest, if you never had a shandy, check out Travelers.
I, on the captain scale, I'd give the, uh, from 1 to 10, I'd give this about a 6. I'm not much on the, the fruit fruity beers, like, you know, I mean, besides, you know, homebrew cider, or like, you know, like, uh, Angry Orchard or something like that. I, I, I always have them every once on Blue Moon or something like that. So this is something like, you know, hey, I got one in the fridge, I got, you know, something I would probably pick up every once in a while, you know, it's a nice thirst quencher. If any of you have tried this, you know, let, leave the comments below. Let me know what you think. But, hey, I, I, I really like it. There's a little bitterness on the back end. I don't know what kind of hops they used. I mean, I would think they would use some sort of citrusy hops. But, uh, you know, thinking, when I saw the grapefruit on this, I was really thinking that it would maybe more like a, like a cascade or something that, that, like a citrusy hop. I was thinking more of that type of taste, like an IPA. I was really thinking that this would taste more like an IPA, but definitely not. It's, it's a plenty fruitiness, like almost like a fruit juice. Oh, there is a, a date when this was made, March 2017. It has the little notch, the little calendar on the side with the little notch out. So this was made in March. And then we're here, it's uh, May. So, yeah. I really quite enjoy this. I'm going to go out back. Me and the first mate, like I said, ooh, excuse me, a lot, a lot more grapefruit flavor coming up on the burp. Um, like I said, it's Friday. I just want to get out back and relax. So, cheers, my friends. And until we do it again, let's set sail.